Article 20 of the EU Cosmetics Regulation says the following. In labelling, making available on the market and advertising of cosmetic products, text, names, trademarks, pictures and figurative or other signs shall not be used to imply that these products have characteristics or functions which they do not have. That means that all the claims that you include on your cosmetic products must be proven, except if they're obvious or clear exaggerations. Proof of the effect claimed is also part of the cosmetic product information file. How can you prove your cosmetic product claims? The regulation number 655-2013 mentions the following best practices for claim substantiation. Experimental studies, consumer perception tests, the use of published information. Experimental studies are generally considered the best way of proving claims. However, the other two methods are also acceptable. Experimental studies includes, but are not limited to, studies in silico, in vitro, ex vivo, with instrumental or biochemical methods, studies conducted on volunteers, investigator evaluations, sensory evaluations, etc. Such studies should comprise methods that are reliable and reproducible. A study protocol and a monitoring system should be drawn up and validated and at the end a report including a clear identification of the product should be prepared. This report should also include the study's objective, test schedule and test protocol, the presentation of results and their interpretation, statistics and the signature of the person in charge of the study. Consumer perception tests evaluate consumers' perception of product efficacy and cosmetic properties based on the parameters that they can observe or feel. In case of consumer perception tests, a study protocol must likewise be drawn. Questions and proposed answers should be clear, and a study report that includes everything that we already mentioned with regard to experimental studies should be prepared. If you decide to use published information to prove your claims, with this we mostly refer to raw material data. You need to make sure that the ingredient in question is stable in the finished product, and that its activity is maintained in the product. As for the ingredient efficacy, the concentration of the ingredient in the final product should reflect the levels at which the claim has been substantiated. So, simply put, you need to provide scientific publications or studies conducted by raw material producers which show a. that the ingredient does what it says it does b. that the ingredient is present at an effective concentration.